Well, the motivation was I came to Newcastle as a student in 1961. And when I came, there was only a few black people here, most of them were students. Right? So we thought, why not get together? And then, because when I first came, I was so lonely because I lived with my friend and then nobody to talk to or anything. So I found it necessary to form an association so that all the Africans will get together. I started first in the Ghana Union, right, until uh, there was a Nigeria Union, Sierra Leone Union, a West Indian Union. So we thought, why not, why not amalgamate a whole lot to form one association? Obviously, this, we are disorientated because, number one, all the people working on the association are volunteers. We are, were not paid. And we were getting a grant from uh, Newcastle City Council, which of course, because of this financial crisis came, they stopped giving the grants. So obviously we couldn't function. Yeah, even before we we're using our own money, our own money to, to organize things. But since uh, the council stopped giving us grants, then we have to. The association is there, but it's not functional as it used to be. And to be honest with you, I organized myself, used to do it. I go to the schools, local schools, just to tell them the African culture. Because I used to go to the schools, I take drums. Then I tell them how to sing African songs and uh, African dancing. And I tell them African stories, like Anansi stories, spider stories. So they were very, very happy to, to know. And uh, I had some African clothes or, you know, to, for the school children to wear. So they were very happy because I know that if you start from the infancy and they accept you, they grow with it. Because I remember we used to go to Durham, the police training college, to advise them. Because I always tell them that when Africans are talking, they, they do justice, they do this. And this is why the police think that we are. Um, aggressive? I say, no, we are not. That's our, our nature. And even even you see people even uh, talking to, on the phone, the person they are talking to cannot see them, but still we see them moving their hands like they do this. It become an, 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 uh, our nature. What I was going to say is we have to leave it to the, the youngsters coming as well to take over because the youngsters are the ones who go to the town. They experience all the discrimination in the nightclubs and the bars and so many places. So we want you on board to take over. Because me, I don't go to the town, so I don't know what is going to happen until somebody tells me. But the youngsters are the ones who face the, the crunch in a way. And the only thing you can do is to fight, but 